Hey, what's good? I'm professional trainer, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm gonna teach you three unstoppable step back moves for crazy separation. All right, separation shooting is one of the absolute keys if you wanna skyrocket your scoring average because getting able to get space from the defender to get your shot off is incredibly valuable. So today, what I wanna do is give you three moves that work pretty much every time and are gonna help you shoot off of that separation. But before we jump into it, I wanna maximize your scoring average. So if you click the top link in the description down below, you're gonna get instant free access to my Insta Buckets workout. This is a quick five minute workout that's gonna turbocharge your scoring average and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it because it's 100% free, top link in the description down below. Now, when we think about step backs, the very first one I want to talk about is what I call the penny step back. Now, this is one that you might not have seen before. I actually hadn't seen it before just like a couple weeks ago, but it's really, really effective. And as I've been playing around with it, it works crazy well. So it's basically just a half whirl into a hop step back. It looks a little bit like this. As you're setting up the defender as you're coming up, it begins with a spin move that's a half whirl. right? So basically, it's just your normal spin move where we're pounding on the outside of our body and then pounding on the inside. But the whole key here is instead of going a full spin move and switching hands, once I come through, I'm going to pound. And on that pound, on the inside or by the inside of my foot, I'm going to launch backwards into a jump stop. Let me show you that again. As I come up, I'm gonna go half whirl, pound, launch back into a jump shot. So what ends up happening a lot is when you hit this move and you 180, when I pound here, most of the time the defender slides this direction to cut you off, or maybe they start to reach. And as I hop sideways or back for big time separation, I get a wide open look for the three. So this is one that you probably don't want to use all the time. And sometimes you can maybe use it as a read, right? You can start as a normal spin move. If they play high, then you can spin and go around. But if they sag off on it, that's when you can use that separation to launch into your shot. Again, the key to this, pound that dribble as hard as you can. What I've noticed is on this move, the harder I pound this dribble and the more I sell it, the more separation and spring I get into my shot, right? If you just do like a little weak pickup, your separation is just gonna be little, defender's probably gonna be right on you. So really sell your shoulders, sell your head, pound it, and then launch quick into that jump shot, get that momentum, knock the shot down. All right, so the next one we got is what we call the double step back. Now this is one that a lot of times like Steph Curry uses, James Harden uses, a lot of times people think it's a travel, and as long as it's executed right, it's not a travel. And it's basically just this, it's a pullback into a step back. So the very first move starts as I'm going to throw a pullback to get my initial separation, right? So it's just like a normal pullback, throwing my shoulders, keeping the ball low. But the key here is I'm gonna float the ball up by my armpit, I'm gonna keep my hand on top or on the side. If it comes underneath, then it is a carry and it's gonna be a violation. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yank it, I'm gonna let it float up, and then I'm going to use a second step back to get that extra space into my shot. So the whole key here is it's not a travel if the dribble's still live. Let me say that again. It's not a travel if the dribble's still live. So as I yank it back, I can move my feet as many times as I want to as long as my hand's on top or on the side, right? So the key here is on the pickup. I want to float that dribble back here long enough to where I can push off this front foot to get my hand on the ball. So the foot's got to push before my offhand pickups. The biggest mistake I see a lot of players make is they do this move, they hit it, and then they grab it here. And so as they grab it, then they push, then they step, they're probably gonna get called for a travel. So if you can float that dribble and control it, you can really step back at that massive separation. Now the final key on this one, once we float and we hit that secondary step back oh, right here, we wanna make sure that we're dropping into this load rather than going straight up. So what I see a lot of the times on this move, players hit it, they go here and then they go straight up and they don't have enough power because they got so much separation to get the ball to the basket, they end up missing short, right? So think about as I'm getting that secondary step back, I wanna load my nose over knees, that way I get my hips engaged and I get a quick spring into my jump shot so I can maximize the power. All right, so the next move I absolutely love for separation is a little bit of a combo, but it's a snatch back step back. So it looks like this. It begins with a hard drive where I'm whipping the basketball behind my back, stopping on a dime on that front foot, right? So that's the snatch back portion where I'm hitting it here. So what you'll notice is a lot of times as the defender's sliding with you and you hit this snatch back, their top foot's gonna be right between my two legs. So basically it's a one-two combo here where I'm going snatch back, then I'm going to cross step over the top of their foot and pound the basketball as hard as I can, launching myself into the step back. So what you see from a defender most of the time, they're sliding with you here, as soon as you hit that snatch back and pound step, they close to open to run with you because it looks like you're going so hard that direction, right? So the whole key here is snatch back hard, cross step pound, and then you launch into your separation. So once I hit this cross step here, 
So I'm snatching back. I'm keeping my hand on top or on the side of the ball so it's not a travel. I'm going to cross step and I'm going to throw that pound with my shoulder and my head moving downhill. Massive mistake a lot of players make on this move. They hit it, it's great. And then they go to do the step back and they go like this. Right? Does this look like I'm driving towards the basket? Nah, it looks like I'm getting ready to stand up straight, right? So if I throw my shoulders, throw my head and throw that pound, that looks like I'm going to the hoop. Defender's going to open up hard and then I can use that last dribble to launch into my separation. Quick springs. Now, just like the last step back, make sure you're landing loaded. As I hit this, I don't want to come upright and have my balance falling backwards. I want to keep my momentum forward. So as I hit the separation, nose over knees, quick spring of the shot, it's going to be knocked down every time. All right, and don't forget, if you want to turbocharge your scoring average, make sure you click the top link in the description down below and get instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. It's a five minute workout that's going to turbocharge your scoring, I guarantee it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, click that subscribe button, head to the comment section down below, and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. We run pretty much everything offer requests, so leave it down below and hopefully I get to it. And again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.